sorry, my bad. Hello, everybody, and welcome to our live stream. We're very happy that you could join us this evening. My name is Aaron, and I am a final year study international relations and politics. Now, during this session, we will be talking about the benefits of studying an undergraduate degree here at the Faculty of Business and Law. And in particular, we will be asking our students why they decided to study at DMU. Now, to help us, we'll be joined by students Karis, Sabia, and Caprice, and we'll be answering any questions that you have throughout the live stream. So please do leave us a comment if you would like to join the discussion or if you simply have any questions about studying in the Faculty of Business and Law. Before we bring our amazing students into the stream, let's have a little look at a video now. Hi, my name's Asha. And I'm Haley. And we're gonna be answering some questions about DMU today. Okay, so the first question is, what did you study at undergrad and why? Um, I studied business and management, mainly for the fact that it's very versatile and diverse. I studied arts and festival management and drama, mainly because I wanted to go into the creative industries and that management and business side. Okay, so what was your favorite module when you studied business management? Um, I would have to say it was brand management in second year. Um, the class was amazing. We got to revamp a pre-existing brand and it kind of gave us some insight into what actual marketeers do. If you had to describe your DMU undergrad experience, what would it be? For myself, I'd say the social scene is really great and I got to do a lot of networking. Yeah, I know. I, I feel like Lester and especially DMU, there's something for everyone. Um, whether or not you like societies or if you actually like partying, there's something and you always find a way to fit in. What is one tip you'd give to students to ensure they do well in their degree? For myself, I always found it useful to have a library study buddy. It makes it more efficient, less stress-free. You can also peer assess each other. Ash is mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would actually say utilize your lecturers. They are there to help you. Um, don't see them as like an authority figure. They're your friends. They will help you through every way and it's really good to connect with them. Okay, so what's your favorite thing about Leicester? Um, I would have to say my favorite thing about Leicester is that it's very accessible. DMU campus is here and then there's loads of accommodations and food places surrounding. Okay, food is like my number one thing about Leicester. There's so many different cultures here. You can literally just pick and mix and have so much variety. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching our video. video. Bye. Bye. Welcome back. First of all, let's introduce everybody joining me today. So we're going to go over to Karis. Hi, I'm Karis. Um, I'm an accounting and finance student in third year. I've just returned back from my placement. Over to Sabia. Hi, guys. I'm Sabia. I'm a recent marketing graduate from De Montfort University. Um, shortly, I will be talking a bit more about my university experience, how I was able to do a placement all the extra opportunities I've been involved with, so stay tuned. And finally, over to Caprice. Hi everyone, I'm Caprice and I'm a law student and like the others, I've also recently just come back after placement year. That was great and thank you all for joining me. Keris, let's start with you. Could you please tell us a little bit more about why you decided to go to university? Yeah, so um, I essentially decided to go to university because I did law and maths as A-levels and I kind of wanted something that went with both of those things because I um, enjoyed them equally and I kind of looked into them both separately and then naturally fell to look at accounting and then I did a bit of work experience at KPMG which is a big was the environment of the businesses was just amazing like I really enjoyed being at KPMG for the sort of week and a half I was there um, and so I thought accounting came quite naturally to me. And then I did a little bit of work in tax whilst I was at school. I did an EPQ in it. So all of that was quite interesting to me. So I initially kind of wanted to um, do accounting, especially because um, it's such a diverse role. Like you don't have to go into accounting after you've studied accounting and finance. You can go into anything that you want to go into. So I could go into project management or I could go into management accounting, or I could go into finance auditing. So I didn't really know what I wanted to do within the realms of finance. I just knew that I was suited towards business. So I kind of went for it in that way. And what made you choose DMU in particular? 
Um, so with DMU, I knew that I was interested in tax and I knew I was interested in forensic accounting because the work that I'd done originally was about forensic accounting within tax. So um, I kind of looked at the university and that module came up and it never came up in any of my other searches. Um, so when I came into the university, I listened to a presentation on on those modules and on the extra things that you could choose to do and what routes you could go down. And the management route and the tax routes kind of um, interested me the most. And so that kind of attracted me to DMU. And then also the fact that um, their employability rates were really good. Um, I knew that I always wanted to do a placement because I wanted the experience. Um, otherwise, I would have gone into a um, degree apprenticeship. But um, the placement opportunities were something that drew me to DMU as well. Now you've already touched on your placement. Thank you for that. Could you tell us a little bit more about you know, the support you received from the university about your placement, where you ended up going for your placement and why? Yep. Um, so the uh, placement that I went to was uh, called Pinewood Technologies. So it was near to my hometown in Birmingham um, and it was doing everything to do with business. So we sort of rotated around roles for two or three months. So I got an opportunity to be on the accounts department. I was on technical support and I did a bit of business management work along with doing presentations to sort of the board and things like that. Um, and then I basically got into this role. So I'd applied to a lot of roles, rejected and accepted from a few of them. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then um, and then the placement team really helped me to, to sort of coach me through the interviews and to provide me with the opportunities and kind of show me what was in my area, because I was seeing a lot of things around Leicester and around London, but I wasn't really seeing anything in Birmingham. So they coached me around that. They coached me with the um, phone interviews and then they kind of were just with me through the whole process from starting to apply to ending the placement. So now you're back at university now. Um, jumping back, I guess, kind of back to first year and choosing your university in the first place. How important was it to you? like the location of DMU and the university that you chose in the first place? Um, it was quite important to me that it wasn't too far away from where I lived and it's not too far away from where I lived. So I could come back and forth because I did work in Birmingham for my first two years. So I was commuting back and forth a lot. But it was also really important to me that I was living in the centre because I know a lot of campuses are far away from the centre of a city. And I knew I enjoyed city life. So I wanted something that was close to all the amenities and all of the being able to go out and meet people. And the campus is in such a good place in Leicester to be able to be immersed with the sort of city life at the same time. So that's kind of the reason for the location. Well, it definitely sounds like you've had a cracking few years at DMU and on your placement. Um, now we're going to go over to um, Sabia. Um, could you tell us a little bit more about your university experience and why you chose a degree in uh, the Faculty of Business and Law, please? Yeah, sure. So I um, decided to go on to a marketing degree at DMU. And before I joined the university, um, I knew I had a strong interest in creativity for business. And I think that's where marketing really fit well in with that and my personal interests. And um, I actually pursued majority of my A-levels in design subjects as well, which I think kind of prompted me to my decision in looking at a course in marketing. Um, but also because of how much opportunities and different pathways there are in my degree course. So it ranges from things like digital marketing to social media. You can go into the brand management side or the research side. There's so many different areas marketing can offer. And I think that's what really drew me to the subject because I knew how broad it was. And at the time, I didn't actually know what kind of pathway I wanted to go into. But I knew that if it, if it gave me the, this many options, I can sort of hopefully throw, <coughs> excuse me, throughout my time, um, kind of decide what kind of area I want to go into from being able to have all of these opportunities um, from the course. Um, but in terms of why I went to DMU, also is because I looked at their um, history of getting their students employed um, for, a, for a placement year and students have in history and even now gone on to some amazing amazing companies and institutions as well and I knew that taking a placement year was something that I definitely wanted to do um, as part of my degree course and I knew that to do that I have to pick a, a university that can um, help me progress to where I need to be and I knew that this is where DMU fits in. Oh, I think you might be muted. Sorry, so typical. And um, that's great. Thank <laughs> you for talking a little bit about your 
place the experience and whatnot. Um, what made you choose um, DMU in terms of, you know, was there anything else outside of your placement experience? Obviously, there's loads of like programmed and, and whatnot here. And, you know, the course variety is amazing as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, I know that before I joined, the DMU Global Scheme really stood out to me because I knew that at the time um, and still now, not a lot of universities provide this to their students. And I think it's a great way to kind of step out of this comfort zone and really embrace different cultures and get to meet different people and really just gain work experience in an international context, which um, I think is a great way to add to your portfolio of experiences. And for me personally, it gave me a very strong talking point when it came to um, sitting through my placement interviews, um, talking about it with uh, employers. And it, it was just a great way to just add to the extra opportunities that I was able to take. Alongside to that, I think DMU has a lot of opportunities for their students. I was part of the university's trampolining team um, in second year, which was, again, a fantastic way to network with different people, really get out of your comfort zone, just um, enjoy enjoy your time there as well as studying. Um, in terms of ac extracurricular activities overall, I think there's so many um, students can take advantage of. You've got your DMU Works program. Um, I've mentioned DMU Global. There's so many different sports societies. Um, there's lots of voluntary voluntary work you can get involved in as well that you can add to your um, resume by the time you leave. So there's there's so many different options that really did entice me into. Um, wanting to go and study at DMU. And of course, you've mentioned your trampolining and whatnot. I guess that is a great thing about Leicester is that it is so easy to to get around everywhere, you know, be that, you know, your social life, society, sports club, anything like that. It is all really close and interconnected. Um, so thank you. For, thank you for that, Spear. Um, and thank you for everyone watching as well. Now, don't forget, if you do have any questions or comments, do pop it in and we will answer it at the end of the live stream. Now, if you're wondering what a building looks like, not to worry, because we can show you a short um, video showcasing all of our facilities, and you might even see a familiar face. Hi, I'm Aaron, and welcome to Leicester Castle Business School. This is the Hugh Aston Building, where you'll be taught. We have a range of lecture theatres and seminar rooms. This is an example of a seminar room. And this is the lecture theatre. This is the trading room. Students have access to financial information and can learn more about trading through self-taught courses. This is our new £5.5 million extension called The Yard. And it has a new student advice centre. We also have extra learning spaces and resources. Want to find out more? Visit our website for more information or come and join us on one of our upcoming open days. Now, I hope you enjoyed that. Now, over to you, Caprice. Hi. So I decided to go to university because at, when I was in my A-levels, I had an interest for law. So that's what I was studying. So at first it was a bit rough. I didn't know exactly what path I wanted to go down. So as well as law, I was also studying sociology and I was interested in different family structures and societal features. So it wasn't intellectually speaking to a career advisor and researching for myself, I came across family law as a different, um, one of the modules you can study at DMU. So that's how I kind of got my interest to thinking, oh, well, maybe I could study law, family law. And when looking at DMU, that was one of the um, universities that actually offered family law. So that's kind of what drew, drew me into studying law. Um, going to university, I just knew it was going to be a new challenge, something new, just a new experience, making new friends and just new experiences overall. So that's kind of my background into why I chose to study law and go to university. Thank you. Now you talk about university. What made you want to study, D you know, study at DMU in particular? So um, to start off with the facilities, I remember coming on an open day and there was just so much going on. Everyone was so engaging and you can tell that it was a warm and welcoming community. And I remember when I first came, there was the screens up um, near the Vigit Patel building. And like I said, there's lots of facilities. I'm also from Nottingham, so from Leicester, it's quite a short um, commute if you did want to commute. So it was also about it being accessible. Leicester's so multicultural, there's so much for everyone to do. So there's, you'll literally not be bored in Leicester. So DMU to me just seems like the right choice. 
So obviously you've had a couple of years at, um, you know, studying if you like, and, and then you mentioned that you've been on placement. How important was, uh, you know, having a great range of placement opportunities? How important was it in terms of having a great range of placement opportunities available to you when you did choose your university? Um, it was important to me because I kind of, when I established that I wanted to go into law, I figured that it wouldn't be the easiest route, but I knew that I wanted to have some type of experience and something to make me stand out a bit. So I knew that doing a placement year, I would get industry skills, I'd be meeting new people, and it was just about furthering myself and applying what I've done at university into a business role. So going on a placement year, it was something amazing that DMU has to offer as coming back I've seen the thing like the new skills that I've gained like industry skills but also personally you gain in confidence you become more resilient you're just taking on a new challenge and when you come back to university you know that you're more applied and you can take on new skills so that's a great thing I do think DMU has to offer and like the others have said as well the placement team they really do support you throughout the whole journey so from whether it's when you're writing your CV and cover letters to interviews, mock interviews, everything they support you from the start. And even when you're on um, your placement year, you still get that continued support as well. So yeah, that's another great thing that DMU has to offer. And that was really interesting. Thank you, Caprice. Um, to you're everyone well. watching, um, you know, thank you for your comments and whatnot. Keep the questions and comments coming as we do have a Q&A session at the end of the live stream. So plenty of time to answer them. So Aaron, you've spoke to us all about our experiences. I'm sure the audience would love to hear about your experience with coming to university. Sure, thank you. Um, so first of all, I decided to go to university um, because I kind of like knew that's what was right for me. I had a really big, and still do have a really big interest in you know politics and international affairs and history and whatnot. Um, so I thought it would be a great idea to combine all of them and what you basically get out of that is, you know, international relations. Um, so first of all, I looked at the course content um, and I found that really diverse and engaging, especially compared to other universities. I, I found with DMU, it wasn't just a case of sitting down, you know, turning, you know, opening a, a textbook and reading. There was lots of opportunities. So, for example, I didn't think I'd be working with graphs and data. Um, I did a module in my second year all about, you know, political data and polling and everything like that. Uh, and that's not really something I kind of, you know, would have expected from, you know, like an international relations politics degree, working with numbers and whatnot. Um, and of course, there's, like I say, there's a great flexibility of modules and the extracurricular activities are great as well. So DMU hosts a Congress to Campus event, which is coming up soon as well. Um, and we get, you know, two former um US senators to you know speak to us um, about their experiences of working in the US government and whatnot so it is a really like hands-on experience especially like I say compared to what you get to at the universities um, and that comes from somebody who you know me myself I didn't know my career path when I was choosing universities um, I knew I wanted to go to university but I didn't know you know what I wanted to be when I was older um, and I you know kind of slowly figured that out through choosing first of all choosing a course that I um, enjoyed and you know it's one of those where it's not exactly necessary to know your career path when you're choosing a university degree because there's plenty of opportunities through your modules and through other you know opportunities as well to figure out what is you what you're good at what you want to go into in the future um, and that's what made you know that's one of the things that DMU was really great at because I had the opportunities to you know go on to a placement year um, so for my placement year I ended up working in in uh, you know in a in-house PR down in London. Um, you know, didn't really like have any experience with PR on my course at all. Um, but it's one of those. It was like you know, like I'll take a stab at it. And then from that, you know, and getting great support. You know, as you guys have already mentioned, from the bowel placement team, um, secured a placement. I really enjoyed it, and you know, discovered you know that's what I want to go into. I want to you know have a career in PR in the future. Um, but without the help from the placement team, um, you know, we've already touched on with help with our CV writing, telephone interviews and whatnot, which is really instrumental in that. So I've got, you know, the DMU BAL placement team to thank for that. Um, and that's one of the things that really attracted me to DMU in the first place, because I knew that would help with my employment. I knew that would kind of slowly help me figure out um, 
where I wanted to go in the future in terms of in terms of a career path even if I didn't 100% enjoy it I knew that would help me in in the sense that I knew I didn't want to go down that career path in the future and um, so yeah the placement opportunities and the um, help and support at DMU was completely instrumental um, into me choosing you know choosing DMU in the first place um, well that wraps up what we would like to say so far I think so I think it's time to answer some questions with the help of uh, Keris, uh, Sevilla, Caprice and myself. So I think we have a, I think we have a few questions as well. Um, so the first one is, what courses under the business and law faculty tend to have the best graduate prospects and employability um, success? Um, so, Karis, do you want to have a little stab at this? Um, just talk about, you know, how, you know, what you think about um, your course and how it's prepared you for the future. Yeah, um, I don't know which course in general does the, has the highest um, employability rates, but I know that um, with accounting and finance, especially, um, you learn so much about business. Like, there's business integrated into it. Like, there's different modules where you learn about marketing. You learn about how to manage a business, how businesses succeed in um, times of change, etc. You learn about economics and what's happening with the government and the government in other countries and sort of the relations between that. Um, and you learn sort of a lot of skills of how to kind of go into the working world. Like I didn't realise how much I'd actually learned from university. Like this year I have a module where we essentially simulate a business um in a group so we all become a director um, depending on our skills so I'm the managing director and the chair of the meetings and then we meet every week and every week we're giving new information and then we answer all of the questions and we um, make all of the decisions and the next week we get to find out what happened to our business and it's really interesting like I didn't realize that we'd be able to make these decisions as accountants and that we it was less of a sort of sitting behind a desk and typing and more of a like actually talking to people and being able to transfer that into lots of different roles so that's great thank you um so we've got a few other questions and whatnot as well um so i'm just going to go on to the first one um sabia if you could take a crack at this in terms of what kind of support do students get at dmu in general please oh i would say an array of support um, main ones being the lecturers are so supportive. They will dedicate their surgery hours. To, um, so don't see them as, you know, something like scary. They're an authority figure. It's nothing like that, honestly. That if anything, they're your friend. They're there to help you. So I would definitely say take advantage of your lecturers' um, surgery hours um, for any upcoming assignments, any advice, anything it is that you're struggling with on the course. They're there to help you. So definitely take advantage of that. In terms of facility-wise, there is so much support for students. But just to name a few, um, like workshops in the DMU Kimberlin Library if you needed help with referencing, if you needed help with your academic writing, if there's anything that you were struggling with, there are assigned workshops for students that you can book on. Um, in terms of study spaces, there's plenty of spaces in the business and law faculty as well as the DMU Library, so many silent study rooms if you want to take advantage of those for any upcoming group work. There's so many textbooks in the library, so many computers. There's just so much support out there it's just a case of take advantage and really just embrace every option that there is for, for you because I think DMU does offer a lot of support for their students. Definitely and just touching on the facilities and whatnot as well obviously studying in the uh, Faculty of Business and Law you do get access to the yard which is you know a couple of million pound investment from the university loads of study spaces a brand new student advice centre as you saw in the university so yeah, absolutely hit the nail on the head. There's so much support and whatnot and from the library and whatnot too. Um, so Caprice, I'm gonna go over to you. We've got a question asking, how do you balance your social life and studying? Um, so balancing student life and studying, it may seem scary at first, but it's just about finding a balance. And me personally, what I do is I make timetables and you have to be very organised. That's the main thing that will help you. So, for example, if you have a deadline, you don't leave it to the last minute or 
you work around that deadline. So it's easy, it's very easy to have a balance between student life and studying. So it's just the way that you apply yourself. So like I said, with me, I make timetables and I'll try to get as much work done in the week. So then the weekends I leave to my, that's my own time. That's my time to socialize. And if I have time, like in the week as well, I will meet, I did tend to meet up with friends and do other things, but it's just about structuring yourself and balance, finding a balance. So you could make a timetable, like I said, using calendars to set reminders, having visual aids that will help you keep on track and keep accountable. Or even having like accountability friends to make sure that you're both doing the work at the same time. So it's just about finding what works best for you. But it is possible to have a good student life to also get your studies in as well. That's great. Thank you. And yeah, definitely um, with the visual aids and whatnot as well. I know that's what helped me in my first year. Um, we've got a fourth question um, asking, um, sorry, we've got another question asking what advice you would give to a student who does not know what they want to do at all. Um, I'll take this on. Um, my main bit, and I think the most important of advice is think about your interests. Um, what do you like? Um, ultimately, you're going to be studying this degree for you know, three, four, maybe more years and you have to really enjoy it. You'll be doing lectures and seminars almost every day of your, you know, term time university life. So it's absolutely imperative that you actually enjoy the thing, you know, the subject that you're studying and that you're reading. Um, so for me, like I say, that was history, politics, that kind of thing. Um, you know, and Ficker Priest, you know, she, she knew she wanted to go into law. Um, so I think that's really important is to look at what you enjoy um, and you can worry about other bits later. Um, but yeah, that, that's it for, for me, really. Um, we do have a, another um, question as well, um, asking for what kind of job you want to look to um, with your degree. So Karis, I know you spoke a little bit more about how you had a fantastic opportunity at KPMG. Um, what are you looking to do in the future after you leave DMU, after you graduate from DMU? So there's uh, several routes that I'm thinking about going down. Um, in particular, I really do enjoy tax. So I'm kind of looking at stuff at the HMRC um, at the moment. I've applied um, to their tax scheme and just um, any tax related ones at places like KPMG, Ernst Young, Deloitte, um, they're all quite accessible and uh, quite accepting of any kind of A-levels and grades, etc. as long as you have good experience and you're on track for a good um result in your degree but um in terms of i'm kind of just going for anything so i'm going for anything finance accounting related um i'm particularly interested in project management so i've also been going for some of those jobs because um management accounting and project management like tie in quite a lot and that was something i found really interesting so i'm kind of just keeping my options open at the moment and hoping that something comes up at a grad job that i enjoy and then seeing how it goes really Sounds great, thank you. Um, so Sabia, we've got yet another question. What advice would you give to students thinking about studying a degree in the Faculty of Business and Law? From, from your personal experience, what would you say? I would definitely say um, take advantage, I've touched upon this earlier, take advantage of all the options that are there for you. Um, so things like get involved in extracurricular activities, think about doing a placement. If not, that if you don't want to do a placement, that's also fine, but look at different ways of how you can build up your experience and um, all the opportunities that there are, there, that, that are, I can't get my words out today, <laughs> that are out there for you and um, just really network and just really get out of your comfort zone. Take advantage of all the options that are there because it will give you a great talking point if you are thinking of doing a placement or by the time you do leave and finish your course. Um, it's a lot of things to talk about other than just saying that you've studied. So I would say definitely look at DMU Global, look at the sports societies, look at any voluntary positions they have going, maybe get in touch with Uniterms. They have fantastic paid opportunities as well for students if they wanted to get into part-time jobs um, whilst they're studying. There's so much going on. So definitely just see what options that are there and definitely get involved. That's great. Thank you. Um, so final question, if we could do like kind of like a quick fire round, if you like, and sum up in one or two sentences, what the highlight of our degrees have been so far. Um, I'll go first, um, and I'm guessing it's probably not too dissimilar. Mine is definitely um, my placement, without a doubt. It's given me so many, you know, skills for the working world, and I really do feel prepared, um, you know, 
when I'm due to graduate DM, from DMU next year. Um, Caprice? Um, same for me, really, my placement year. Um, I was fortunate enough to go out to California and it yeah. kind of made me establish I do want to go to go into commercial law and company law, which I did on my placement year. So I'm currently studying both of those at DMU at the minute. So kind of a journey. So yeah, that's been my highlight, my placement year so far. That sounds cracking. Karis? I think um, for me, it's probably the people that I've met and the experiences that I've had whilst I'm on campus. I mean, I enjoyed my placement year a lot and networking, but I've met a lot of um, like-minded people that I wouldn't have met without the opportunity to go to university and study accounting. Wonderful. And finally, Sabia. I would definitely say my placement year also. It was a great way to link all the academic theories that I had learned in my first um, year and second year into a real life business practice. It also gave me the opportunity to open up my networking and I would also say the DME Global trips I've been on. In in my first year I was able to go to New York and I was able to go to New York again in my final year and it was it was amazing. It's just it opens up so many opportunities, gives you a really good experience and it, overall I would say those were my highlights. Smashing. Thank you all. So we're going to have to finish this live stream here and thank you very much to everybody for listening and of course for all the questions from our viewers as well. Before we finish, we do have a little video that we want to share with everyone. Enjoy the video and have a great rest of your evening and the week as well. We hope to see you at DMU in the future. Bye everyone. DMU is an experience that I'll never forget. It's been the best four years of my life. It's not just your degree, it's a whole change of life. Without coming to DMU, I would not have found the lifelong friends that I have. So my time at DMU has been amazing. I've taken part in DMU Global, DMU Local. It's more than just a degree, it's about your friendship, the connections you make with like teachers, your peers, it's more than just education. From joining the university, I've joined societies, and I met lecturers and friends that are going to be with me for the rest of my life. The first lecture I went to, I made friends that are lifelong. And we've gone through university together, we've travelled across the world together, and it's quite an experience. One of the main things that I've accomplished here at DMU was being a chairman of DMU Saints. It's obviously allowed me to grow so much as a person. Um, so in the future, I'm definitely able to take what I've learned here at university and put it into practice. Being involved in societies, and there's been a lot of debates and events that we've had to host and with the Demont for SU. And so that's helped improve my confidence and public speaking as well, which I used to hate before. The placement team was really useful in helping me secure my placement in second year. I got a placement at Disney and that helped me pursue what I wanted to do in the future. I secured a grad job for Orbit Group on the Finance Graduate Scheme. My DMU placement really contributed to me getting my graduate job. Without a shadow of a doubt, my placement definitely led to the opportunity of my graduate job. Um, it's been an amazing opportunity. One of the things that I miss about DMU is the opportunities available to me, for example, DMU Global. I was fortunate enough to go to Berlin with DMU Global as part of their hashtag not on my campus campaign um, which was all to do with stamping out discrimination on campus. So in January me and a thousand of the students were able to go to New York and experience a big apple. We stayed in Times Square, I went to Madison Square Gardens and NPC Studios and had a tour around there which is all organised by the university. My highlight is definitely the DMU Global trips. I wish I could go on more. I wish I did go on more. These DMU Global trips have taught me that if I put my mind to I can do anything basically. I would have to say that all my teachers have been inspirational. They want you to do amazing. They want you to thrive. They want you to do great. My personal tutor has been amazing. He definitely like motivates me and he inspires me to do stuff that I didn't think I could do. The highlight of my time at DMU is when I joined the lacrosse team in first year um, and the friends that I've made through that that I know will be my friends for life. One of my highlights at DMU has definitely been uh, getting out there in my societies. I'd say my highlight is actually um, gaining my graduate job. I couldn't have done it without DMU. After leaving university, I know DMU 
will be there for, uh, for any support or advice that I might need for future life. I know that DMU for Life, they'll always help me in my future careers, help give me careers advice. I know ultimately DMU will always be home to me.